Welcome to the William L. McKnight 3M Omni Theater. My name is Chris Demko and I'm the head projectionist for this theater. We're currently standing right outside the Omni queue area. This is where you'll bring your tickets to our friendly staff and then you'll hang out in the queuing area to wait to be seated for your next show. If you'd like to follow me into the projectionist booth, we can show you a little bit around and we'll show you some of the equipment and how it actually works. The first thing you'll notice as you're standing in our omni queue area is that you can see directly into our projectionist booth. We've taken that wall away, unlike conventional movie theaters or other IMAX venues. It gives our visitors an opportunity to walk by and actually see what's going on in the booth with the projectionist. They can stop, watch us, ask questions if they'd like to, and learn a little bit about how things operate in there. We like to think of it as another exhibit here at the Science Museum. Now this particular theater has been in operation since December of 1999, but the Omni Theater's history actually goes back about 21 years before that, when we opened up our first dome theater at our old location back in 1978. The idea of large format film actually came around in, in the mid to late 1960s. There was a group of four filmmakers from Canada that got together and decided to make a company called IMAX, which stands for Image Maximum. They wanted to build the largest film experience possible. So they had to use, at the time, the largest film stock that was available. Now currently, in a conventional movie theater, they run 35 millimeter film. You can see right here. In a large format theater like ours, we run 70 millimeter film. Now the 35 millimeter film is run through a projector vertically, whereas the 70 millimeter film, which is double the width, is run through our projector horizontally, which allows us to get a much bigger picture on the film stock and show a much larger picture out on the screen. Now as our visitors are actually watching us through the glass here, they'll notice the film zipping up into the projector. To give you a reference of how fast the film is actually moving through the projector, we run our film at 24 frames per second here. So basically that means that every second we have 24 frames of film that's ripping through the front end of that projector. And it's quite fast. Uh, just another frame of reference, on 35 millimeter film stock, this is 24 frames right here but on the large format film stock that we run through our projector, this is 24 frames of film. It's nearly six feet long, and again, that does roll through our projector every second. Now that they had this idea, they needed to get people to see it. So they took this idea to the World Expo in the late 1960s, and it turned out to be a huge hit. Next, they had to build a fleet of theaters to run this large film format and those theaters that originally started out were flat screen theaters. Over time, they developed the Dome Omnimax Theater, which is what we have here at the Science Museum. And the Science Museum of Minnesota was actually the second dome theater in the world to be constructed when it was built back in 1978. So that's something that we're really proud of. We are also proud to be the top museum to distribute large format films. We originally opened our theater in 1978 with our own film Genesis that we produced ourselves. And since then, we've produced 10 others, so we have a total of 11 now, the most recent being Jane Goodall's Wild Chimpanzees. Here in the Omni Theater, we actually have four projectionists on staff. There's myself, I'm full-time, and we have three part-time projectionists. And between the four of us, we're able to cover all the shifts between the day and the night. Uh, as a projectionist, there's a lot that actually rests on our shoulders. We have to make sure that we inspect every print that comes through the doors before we ever put it inside of our projector and run it on the screen. Uh, the main reason for doing this is just to make sure that there's no flaws in the print and to make sure that all of the splices that hold all of the reels together are perfectly intact so we don't have the film falling apart inside the projector. Uh, on a daily basis, we're responsible for making sure that we load the projector properly. There's a lot that goes into it, and you have to have your mind wrapped around it and focused on it the entire time. Uh, another thing that we're responsible for is the distribution aspect of, uh, of the film industry. Uh, as I stated earlier, we produce some of our own films, and in the back hallway we have a collection of our films that are sitting back there that we'll send out to uh, various theaters throughout the world. Uh, if they ever call us up and ask for a film, we'll go ahead and make sure it's inspected properly and that's quality checked, and we can send that out to them. Few places on earth can tell a story like the Omni Theater. So I hope to see you during OmniFest. <laughs>